Terror convict Yasin Malik was hospitalized on Wednesday, two days after he went on an indefinite hunger strike. Earlier, he was put on IV fluids in Delhi's Tihar jail. Malik, who was lodged alone in a high-risk cell in Tihar's jail number no. 7, serving a life sentence in a terror funding case, has been shifted to the prison's medical investigation room where doctors are constantly monitoring his health status and updating the prison headquarters. A police official said he has refused to eat anything. This is why he had to be put on IV fluids. We sent a report about his health update to the top brass of the headquarters early evening. The 56-year-old Malik, the chief of the band Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front or JKLF, began his indefinite strike on Friday morning after the union government did not respond to his plea that he be allowed to physically appear in a Jammu court hearing the Rubaya Saeed kidnapping case in which he is an accused. Appearing before a special court in Jammu through video conferencing on July 13, Malik said that he has written to the government for a physical appearance before the special Tada court in the case related to the kidnapping of Rubia Saeed, daughter of the then Union Home Minister Mufti Muhammad Saeed in December 1989. He had appeared in connection with the case pertaining to the killing of four IAF officials in 1990. On July 15th, Rubia Saeed identified Yasin Malik as one of her kidnappers in the high-profile abduction by the JKLF in 1989 before a special court in Jammu. Malik is one of the most guarded prisoners among the nearly 20,000 inmates in Tihar jail. While convicted prisoners are given work inside the jail and paid for their labour, he was not assigned any job because of security reasons.